series of discussions for Organize Your Life that I'm going to have with my friends that are into healthy living. I want to introduce to you first uh, Paulina Kuklina. You might know her. She is a very well-known model. Hi. And Antonia Costa, singer-songwriter. You might have seen her on Organize Your Life as well. And Teresa Lorenko, who is our new contributor. Hi. The first discussion is organic versus conventional. What should we choose? Organic. <laughs> Definitely organic. I mean, I personally choose organic. Um, if I have the if I have the choice to, between organic and conventional, I will choose the organic. I like to stay away from the pesticides. There is the Environmental Working Group Shoppers Guide. They made a list of the dirty dozen and the cleanest twelve. So the dirty dozens are the vegetables and fruits that you should actually really buy organic and if you do that then you eliminate about 50% of pesticides in your uh, daily daily intake. Conventional, um, you can definitely go for bananas, avocados, um, watermelon, skin. She knows the skin banana. is very thick. <laughs> Yeah, um, pineapples. So you're saying if a, if a fruit or a vegetable has a thick skin, if it has a thick it's okay skin, to it's, eat it it's okay. Okay. Yes. protectively, or so it's um, it doesn't go through. Even if it's organic, I still soak everything in salt. Really? So, yeah. Do you <laughs> wash pa prepackaged salads? Yes. Before of you, of course, uh, I still soak that in salt, salt water because I've had prepackaged, even organic prepackaged salads, and I found worms in it. So right. the salt water would kill. Well, like, the worms it is a good and sign. It was moving. No, it's right. organic. <laughs> it's still, it was still the worms alive. Worms are still living. Yeah. Yeah. You can take <laughs> the worms and still alive. In, like arugula salad, you always find worms in arugula salad. Ew. Where are you buying? No, I'm trying not salad. to think right now about how many worms I've eaten. So we have, we have. So you say organic meat is raised without the use yeah. of antibiotics. antibiotics. Okay. Or growth hormones. Or right? growth hormones. And the growth hormones, I think, is what uh, a lot of people or a lot of healthcare representatives are concerned about because they find more and more that um, in the public. Um, children and teenagers start to go through puberty much earlier than they used to and they attribute it in part to the growth hormones and other hormones that may be used um, in the poultry and yes it's best to avoid that. Cage free, free range chickens is not really organic chickens meaning um, it has to say or, if it USDA. doesn't state organic, it's not organic. If you it doesn't state organic, yeah, it doesn't. So you have to look up for the USDA, so, USDA organic, organic yeah. label.